Harrelson. Or is it? Tonight on TMZ's Conspiracy Corner, we pull back the curtain on the coronavirus. Yeah, apparently this is still a thing. Woody Harrelson went in on the drug companies saying this is all basically just an effort to make a lot of money. During his SNL monologue, Woody did a bit about how he read the craziest screenplay. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs. <laughs> Great, where the hell were you? Because in the audience, it was crickets. The angry tweets followed. Producer Lee Goldberg says, thank you, NBC SNL, for Woody Harrelson's insipid anti-vax monologue. Good on Lauren Michaels to allow it. And that doesn't mean you have to buy it. The fact that people are getting censored, I think pushes certain people to really go out there with conspiracy theories. Now, just for context, in the past, Woody suggested COVID was spread by 5G networks. So that's some good weed. Anyway. Thank God for the vaccine. Can we all yeah. say that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, but we're so screwed for the next pandemic. People have no trust in drug companies and the government. And whose fault is that? It's the censorship. The hours after Saturday Night Live, the Wall Street Journal comes out with this story. Some of the government agencies are now saying that it is likely that COVID came from a Wuhan lab, something you were not allowed to say. It's a real theory that now may well be true. Well, I think we all owe the bats an apology. <laughs> yes, <laughs> true. Fine, sorry. So thanks, Woody. The monologue didn't quite work, but putting on that fat suit sure got a lot of laughs.